Hello YouTube family, welcome back. And if you're new here from the playlist, I am Jackie with Mamma Mia DIYs. Today is Patriotic DIYs hosted by Teresa B DIYs. Her channel will be listed in the description box below. Make sure you go check out her channel. Uh, she's got some awesome giveaways that she's doing with this open collab and the proceeds that she receives from this video, she is donating to Fisher House. And if you don't know what Fisher House is, Fisher House Foundation builds comfortable homes where military veterans and families can stay for free of charge while their loved ones are in the hospital. I'm reading this off of this, their website. These homes are located at military and VA medical centers around the world. Fisher House has up to 21 suites with private bedrooms and bathrooms. Families share a common kitchen, laundry facilities, and a warm dining room and inviting living rooms. The program has saved military and veteran families an estimated $547 million in out-of-pocket lodging and transportation. So it is a wonderful thing to contribute to. All of that information is going to be listed down in the description box below. And like I said, make sure you check out Teresa's channel and everybody else in the playlist. Um, she is having a charitable auction, and that link will be in the description box of some of the DIYs that she made in her video. Go check that out also. So let's get on with the crafting. DIY number one. This one was so simple. I use window clings from the Dollar Tree and the new ceramic uh, ornaments that Dollar Tree has put out. On that one, I just put the USA. I was trying to see which way it would fit the best and just pushed it down. Simple and easy. And then the next one, I chose Let Freedom Ring and added some stars to it. Like I said, this was so simple. It, you know, I hate calling it a DIY because it was just that simple. number two. This one I used one of the chalkboard easels from the Dollar Tree, cut out the 4th of July on my Cricut, and used folk arts antiquing wax and just did the little legs. I didn't like the color of the wood so I just wanted to add some color to it. So I do all of the legs with the antiquing wax. Simple and easy. And then I'm burnishing my 4th of July onto the transfer paper. This one again, simple and easy. I hate calling it a DIY, but I love the way this turned out and have it sitting on my tear tray. DIY number three. 
For this DIY, I took one of the mason jar signs that I've already pulled the front off of it. I think it was from Valentine's Day, maybe Easter. And I'm painting it in the lacquer Waverly's chalk paint. I give it two good coatings of the lacquer chalk paint. So I put some Mod Podge on the board and I'm using more of the window clings from the Dollar Tree and adding Mod Podge to it. This little star and two other little stars. full coat of Mod Podge over the entire surface of the little mason jar because I wanted it all to look the same and dull down the shininess of the transfers. Here I am wrapping some jute twine around it. I went three times with the jute twine, glued it down, secured it, and now I'm adding some of the pit berries garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and it is in the red, white, and blue. Next I made a little finger bow out of the jute twine and added it to the corner of the little mason jar. DIY number four. For this DIY, I'm tuck the money rolls from the Dollar Tree. You get a huge bag of them. And I'm using blue chalk paint by Folk Art, white Waverly chalk paint, and also the lacquer red paint from the Dollar Tree, or Waverly, excuse me. I give them all a, a good coat. It just took one coating to cover everything. Next, I'm taking some red, white, and blue stars that I had in my stash, sticking it down into one of the openings and just pushing it around the little firework. It's what they're going to turn out to be. Just put plenty of glue in there and put my little tinsel flower or stars in there. I think these fireworks turned out so cute. DIY number five. For this DIY, I used plastic pot from Dollar Tree, the small clay pot, and the larger clay pot from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna paint them red, white, and blue. So I'm giving the smaller one a good coat of the Waverly lacquer paint and it just took one coat to cover it really good. For the next
next pot, I took the white Waverly chalk paint and gave it also a good coat in the white. For the plastic pot, I gave it a good coat with Mod Podge. I guess I forgot to record that. And I'm using the blue from the folk art. I can't remember what the name of it is, but I just give it a good coat. All three pots only took one coat of the chalk paint. So next I take the little red pot and glue it onto the white pot using a lot of hot glue. Then I will be taking those two pots and gluing it to the blue pot. But first I'm gonna add this little burst that was off of a balloon weight. Was there I was showing you guys and just sticking that down in there just to give it a little a little something something and if you haven't guessed yet i am turning these three pots into a little gnome i got the idea from olivia from olivia's romantic home i'll have her channel listed down below this is just the drying cloth that they have in the automotive section there at Dollar Tree. And I just cut it out in a little shape of his beard, seeing if it's going to fit. I took a the largest wood bead that I had and painted it in oatmeal from uh, folk art. And now I'm placing the beard around and going to get that glued down securely. I just want to take this time to thank Teresa for hosting this patriotic DIY open playlist. I had so much fun in doing my DIYs. And I know I made the rookie mistake and didn't go and flip my video before I started my editing. Here I'm just adding some more of those foil uh, stars to the white because between the beard and the white part of the hat it was just too much white. I ended up going back and painting the little rim of the white pot red just to give some some separation between the white pot and the white beard. Here is the final reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which one was your favorite and share with your family and friends. And don't forget to go watch the playlist. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.